What's up guys, it's Ed back at it again with another GPU comparison. So this time I'm going to be comparing the GTX 1080 against the EVGA GTX 980 Ti. There will be plenty more GPU comparisons with the GTX 1080 so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out. So the GTX 1080 Founders Edition goes for $699 and features a 1607MHz base clock which can be boosted up to 1733MHz. And the GTX 980 Ti currently goes for $620 which will most likely get a price cut soon and it features a base clock of 1102MHz and a boost clock of 1190 Both of the cards also feature three display ports, one HDMI and a DVI. The 980 Ti has a dueling DVI port while the 1080 only has a digital DVI port. Let's jump straight into the benchmark. Starting off with Fire Strike, as you can see the GTX 1080 beats the 980 Ti across the board in regular, extreme and even ultra benchmarks by a solid amount. Moving to Heaven 4.0, we can see that the 1080 gets an average frame rate of 157.9, whereas the 980 Ti scored only 91.4. That's almost 75% more FPS in 1080p. Bumping up the pixel count to 4K, we see a difference of 12 FPS. Similar results were found on the Metro Last Light benchmark, with the 1080 nearly doubling the score of the 980 Ti in lower resolutions, whereas in 4K, there was only a 5 FPS difference. In GTA 5, the results weren't that drastic. The 1080 did push more frames than the 980 Ti, but only by 14, mostly due to the game being more CPU intensive rather than GPU. And finally, we have the rise of the Tomb Raider. The GTX 1080 got an average frame rate of 48.6, and the GTX 980 Ti scored 41.2. So it seems like there's more of a difference in lower resolution gameplay, and a much less difference as the quality gets higher. So in conclusion, should you buy the GTX 1080? Well, it depends on what resolution you are playing. For 4K gaming, the extra 5 or 10 frames just doesn't justify spending an extra $700. However, if you're still gaming in 1080p and are coming from the GTX 970, the 980 or even the 980 Ti, then I would say yes, there is definitely a noticeable difference in performance. On the opposite side of the spectrum, there is still the GTX 1070 card, so instead of grabbing your wallet and tossing your money at the 1080, honestly I would advise you to hold on and see the benchmarks on the GTX 1070, which I'll be doing on the channel as well, before you spend your hard earned money. Also don't forget, the 980 Ti will most likely get a price cut, making it more desirable. In the end, I would honestly wait for the price cuts and the release of the 1070 before tossing any money at these cards. But that's it for the video, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy my quick, straight to the point, without wasting any more time, benchmark style videos, let me know by dropping a like and also let me know by leaving your feedback down below because I will definitely keep these going on the channel. Uh, let me know what other cards you guys want to see go up against the GTX 1080 and I'll go ahead and add that to my list. But that's basically it, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon.